Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Battlebox Bat Rep where I'm going kind of back to my roots. Like when I started this channel, the idea was it was to use stuff that I've picked up over the years that you know that I, I wanted to you know have an opportunity to play with. And now I have used my leagues of OTAN before, I just I love them so much I want to use them use them more. And yeah, um, doing a slightly bigger board, slightly bigger game than the normal combat patrols. Um, I'm actually only using three models from my original combat patrol, which is three of the six um, pioneers over there. But yeah, uh, okay. Uh, also, ig ignore the box over there. That's for a secret future project. Um, <laughs> it contained a secret future project. So, um, I actually have to run down the army list because I can't just say it's the combat patrol this time. We have two units of um, war basic warriors. They have Autoc bolters. They have um, L7 rifles and Magna rail rifles. Um, they are very, very cool. The Carl is at the back there with a Storm Bolter and um, a Concussion Fist. Mass Driver Fist, the, the good one. At the back, we have got... Three uh, Brockier Thunderers with conversion beamers, and we have six um, Hernkin Pioneers, and um, yeah, they have uh, Hylas some um, uh, Zappy Cannon Death Machines. Now, I have been very, very careful to not, <laughs> not show what they're up against, uh, but going in, this is the reason I have done this because I want to use a model I haven't used before. They're going up against a Stomper, and the Stomper is, um, yeah, is going to, <laughs> it's just a Stomper, I'm, to make it a legal army, because you can do this in 10th uh, edition, it is piloted by the Mega Armored War Boss, uh, specifically the one from the Combat Patrol games, which if you haven't watched are a ton of fun, and the bo uh, boss here, uh, Boss Goldfang, he's Borrowed a stomper from his Death Skull mates to go on a joyride and ha happens to have come across a Votan encampment in an old orc fortress. There are no, uh, <laughs> there are no, um, uh, like, um, objectives here. It's just who can wipe out the, um, the others. And what it's worth, the Votan do have some reinforcements incoming, but I'm keeping it a bit more narrative. They are vaguely equal points. I think there's about 40 points in it. Uh, but yeah, let's make this happen. Who's going first? Is it going to be the squats or the orcs? The squats are going first. I guarantee they don't want to get any goddamn closer. <laughs> Okay, the pioneers have come up to join the initial firing line. Uh, the idea is that uh, when the stomper inevitably gets in, uh, yeah, the, they're going to try retreating back further. So, won't that be nice? So, going to start with the two high um, uh, rotary cannons. Tw like 12 shots. They need... So... Important note about um, things. I never think about doing this because I always do combat patrol, so you know what they are. These guys are oath bound um, for future viewers. This is the index list, and the dread is, you know, <laughs> Stomper is using the dread mob rules. So, yeah, um, it means that the Stomper and uh, the, uh, our good old friend Goldfang inside both had to start with two judgment tokens. So I currently need threes to hit, which is most of them, if I'm being honest, that's pretty good. Okay, um, they are a mighty strength six, he's toughness seven, so they need uh, six to wound normally, five because of the judgment token. That is one, 
And at a shiny minus one to save, it's a three up save. It's fine. Now we back this up with the auto cannons. The auto cannons are hitting, also hitting on threes. So, oh, that's much worse. Oh dear. Because basically, we just need to like plink off as many wounds as possible, which makes this much harder if they won't sodding take the damage. <laughs> nah. Okay, uh, that is. Uh, he needs fours to wound because I've spent seven. Oh, that's pretty good. We might be able to plink a few wounds off. That's minus one AP, so three up saves. Ooh, that's three wounds. Okay, so they are damage two each. I have the pile of wounds down here. Down to 24 already. Okay, six wounds taken. Ooh, okay, okay, we are plinking. We are plinking. Uh, <laughs> next up, let's go for the unit that doesn't have the um the Carlin. Um so yes a bunch of bolters, a magna rail rifle, and a, a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is obviously going to use focused, and magna rail rifle is uh, standing still. So just slowly padding across. So. Pretend I'm doing that instead of drifting as I move. Um, <laughs> okay, the magna rail rifle needs uh, threes to hit because it's standing still. No, the rocket launcher needs uh, threes to hit. No, okay. All top pattern bolters have two shots each. There are eight of them. So that is, in fact, 16 shots. If you can count out. Yeah. They also need threes to hit. And it, it's one of these bits where it's like, because of the judgment tokens, this means it's not worthless to do. Because, like, they still need fives to wound, which is not awful for, like, fighting a super heavy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, it's got um, two up saves, but, like, that is a fair number of potential wounds. Let's see this literal pile of potential turn into <laughs> actual damage. Thing. Another two wounds. Now from 24, okay, oh, under 22. Okay, um... Same on the other one. But I just need to get the stats for the Storm Bolter as well. Back in a sec. Yeah, it's just a more accurate Bolter. I re um, more accurate Storm Bolter. I probably should have guessed that. But yeah, uh, firing in. It, the the car also gives them um, lethal hits. So six hit wounds automatically, which is good. Okay, starting with the Magna Rail Rifle. Hits. It's strength 12, so that is still... <laughs> still needs 5, so that is 4 to wound. Does wound. A devastating wound. Does D3 plus 3 wounds automatically. <gasps> okay, so that is another 6 wounds gone. Okay. It's looking good right now, but um, the Stomper is going to retort. The um, L7, the uh, missile launcher, misses. The Carl Storm Bolter uh, is slightly more accurate, needs twos to hit. Uh, lethal hit, so two of those automatically wound. And the other ones need fives. Okay, got two two up saves. Fine. And lastly, Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ah, ah. <laughs> the dice are being willful today. Uh, they need threes to hit. That's pretty good. Ooh, 
That's a bit as well. Need fives to wound. Okay, uh, that is one wound. One, two up save. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, um, so we're down to 16 wounds. So it's basically taken half its health in the first round of combat. Unfortunately for the um, squats, it's about to retaliate. <laughs> and things are not going to be particularly pleasant. So, yay! <laughs> so before it moves, um, it's part of the um, uh, Dread Mob, which means it gets, has the Try That One rule. Uh, I'm going to choose the option for Sustained Hits on the simple basis of that means. Uh, I love the idea that it also is going to have hazardous on all its guns because that's just so stupid. So yeah, it's got um, it's firing even more bullets into these poor bastards, and now it's going to start attacking. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> um, yeah. So, 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 got to do a bit of um, attack allocation at this point. Uh, currently, I'm going to put the Super Gatler and the Scorcher into this unit of warriors with the Carl. The Death Cannon and the Super Rockets are going to go into the Pioneers. And all the big shooters are going to go into this unit. So, yeah, uh, let's start with this unit who is getting the... Uh, oh, you know, I, just want to go, I want to start with the um, Super Gatler. Uh, Super Gatler already has sustained hits one, so it doesn't actually get anything else out of this. But it does get hot, which is fun. Uh, <laughs> so, Super Gatler gets 20 shots, needing fives to hit. That is... Quite a few. Um, okay, and then um, another two from those sixes. It's strength seven, so it needs uh, threes to wound. That is so many. Um, <laughs> AP minus one, uh, plus one from the um, being in cover, so they have four up saves. Uh, look, covers helped a bit, and they have a medic in there. That's five dead from that, and um, so the Scorcher gets uh, four hits, needing three, four to wound, it's at uh, their five. Ooh, uh, it's minus one AP and it ignores cover, so that is um, fives to save. Well, that's two saves and two, <laughs> two shoulder pains. Okay, so that is seven dead from that unit before we move on. <laughs> this thing hits like a truck and it hasn't even charged yet. Okay, um, there's a lot gone there. On to the um, pioneers. We're going to get, um, yeah. Uh, Start with the death cannon. Death cannon gets d6 shots, but it blasts, so plus one for four shots. Hitting on fives. On death cannon, the super rocket. That is going to be three hits because of sustained attack. Okay, it's strength 12. They're tough from six, so that is twos to wound. <laughs> That is incredibly lucky pioneers. Uh, however, it is minus three AP, so um, one of them is just dead. Uh, next up, we have um, the. Actually, this works up really well because the death cannon is also blast, so it's three d six plus one shots. Okay, let's so that's eight shots. Yeah. 
And that is fives to hit. Only the one. Okay. Um, yeah, the pioneers are doing much better out of this than I thought they were going to. <laughs> Uh, so I still said 14, so <laughs> two to wound. Wound. Um, minus three AP, does D6 wound, so it may actually not kill. Which was the Super Rockets does D6 plus two, so it kills it instantly. Yeah, no, no, another one does die. Uh, it's going to have to be, um, I guess, that one. I mean, they do have special rules, but I can't remember what they do, and it's not like it's going to matter. Oh, that was not as good. That still was not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, do you know what will be as good as I think it's going to be? All the big shooters into this slot. Now, <clears throat> Twin Link Big Shooter first gets five shots. Uh, made a good Twin Link Big Shooter to reroll wounds. It's five to hit. At least four hits. It's fours to wound. Rerolling fails. Okay, there's no AP. There's no AP on that, so they get three up saves, and they get thrown no pain. Okay, there is two dead from this unit, and then we're on to the fifteen shots with the regular big shooters, which is hopefully going to be slightly better than the um other one. Words are hard, people. Words are very hard. Okay. Christ. Uh, that is a lot of hits. It's a lot of sixes too. So that, is, oh, no, that was a miss. So that is three additional hits from the sustained attacks. Uh, he needs fours to wound. Dude doesn't get to re-roll this time. Show me to the shame. Uh, they get three up saves. They get feel no pains. Uh, yes, okay, no, the, the medic it was not sleeping this time. And because the medic is an ironkin, I love these guys so much. And yeah, ironkin medics are great. Okay, uh, now I have a decision to make here. I think the Stompit is going to charge this unit. Just because then it can at least wipe out the coal first. <laughs> so, in it in range. You're darn tootin' it is. I'm also going to um, overwatch with the um, Pioneers. Mainly because the Pioneers are have so much more firepower, honestly. Um, well, that's it. Ooh. No, 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 no. Pioneers have more firepower, but the Carl does give them lethal hits, which is could be pretty good because it means each hit would instantly wound, as opposed to this lot, who any they would have more shots, but each hit would have to wound as well. I'm going to go for the Carl. I'm going to go for Carl. Um, uh, the well, the actual unit getting charged. So the. Thingy uh, misses, the Magna Rail misses, eight boulder shots. Uh, all miss, cool, okay. Um, not hugely happy about that, but what can you do? The Stomper is at the halfway point. It is time to um, start swinging. Mega Chopper can do strike or sweep. I think I'm going to do the sweep action, which gives me 18 attacks. Uh, <laughs> hit it on threes. Oh, that is poor. On the plus side, it does. Uh, I still have sustained attack, so the sustained attack is for fight as well, which is hilarious. So, yeah, um, yeah, each time 
Uh, so I did the shoot or fight. Oh, I should have done all the um, hazardous rolls. I'll do that uh, between this. The chance this game might actually have been quite short. Uh, <laughs> threes to hit. That was not a six. You lie. Okay, that's the four ones for that. Okay, what I'm going to quickly do is three big shooters, Death Cannon, the Scorcher, the Super Gatler, the Super um, Rocket, and the um, um, Twin Link big shooter is eight weapons that all have hazardous. I could theoretically wipe myself here. But each one that is D3 was not a single one because... This is why you steal your stuff from Death Skulls. Death Skulls stuff is lucky. And also, that's going to be six. Okay, so that's all the hits I've got. Uh, <laughs> strength 10, so it is twos to wound. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yep, oh, that's a one as well. Mega Rev. Okay, now. Okay, I've got to work out how to do this because um, a couple of the models in this unit have um, invulnerable saves. I don't think it's going to help them, but you never know weirder things have happened. So I think the way I'm going to do this is um, three wounds on the um, Magna Rail guy, just get him out of the way first. Dead. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I've been six up, so. Um, dead. Now, <clears throat> in turn, I'm going to do four up saves for the um, unit leader. Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the unit leader is dead, and then um, for the uh, medic. Nope. Okay, so, 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 these two are both out. Now, unlike the rest of the unit, the Carl is a badass. She's here, to, she's not here to play. Uh, she has a five up invulnerable save and four wounds and no feel, no pain. <laughs> So she only needs to make six five-up saves to do this. I'm not confident. Um. Oh, no. Right, come on, point reroll. I'm going to come on, point reroll one of these. If I can get one more five or six, then she survives this, and that will be the coolest damn thing. Oh. Her name, by the way, is Linnea Orkbane, and she is a complete goddamn hero because now she is going to pile in and punch a stomper right in its stomach. Uh, <laughs> that's the coolest fucking thing. Okay, Mass Gauntlet gets three attacks. What is worth, she does have the um, enhancement that means if she dies, there's a chance she'll come back. Um, because again, she's a complete goddamn hero. She's on one wound, but that's all she needs. Come on, some twos to hit. She's strength eight. She needs fours to wound because um, five normally plus one for the judgment token. One wound, minus two AP. So that is. Yeah, uh, four up, um, goes with a four up save. <laughs> Just straight in, blam. Okay, hell yes. Uh, yeah, Linnea is a total badass. Uh, that was so cool. <laughs> so, I'm so glad for once, actually using the goddamn command point reroll did hold up. If she can take this thing out in melee, she is going to be awesome. But before she tries taking it out in melee, she's got some mates turning up. 
And that's going to happen in Votan turn two. So let's start with the basics. Uh, this unit of warriors is going, going to try and take up second position behind this wall over here, just getting back. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Pioneers have gone around to flank. And as you can see from the top of the camera, a bunch of iron here have shown up. Uh, unit of half guard in the middle with vulcanite disintegrators and um, concussion fists and two iron here champions with mass hammers uh, this kind of didn't go how i thought it was going to on the simple basis of i thought everyone was going to die so we get another round of shooting in because otherwise we've got to do 13 wounds in melee which is doable but quite hard especially because i've got to do nine inch charges to get in let's start with this dude over here no this dude down here no. Uh, the, these guys are here. No. Okay. Uh, oh, also, um, the chainsaw gets hot from last time. No. Okay. Um, so, Linnea was awesome. But she now needs to survive another round of getting smashed in the face. By the goddamn stomper, and I'm genuinely quite worried about this. Um, it only needs to do one wound, so I think it's going to use the uh, Mega Chopper again. So that is five, six, twelve, eighteen attacks. I'm going to use them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use the sustained hits again. Uh, for them. Gonna push that button. Let's roll them down here, I guess. I need three to hit. Uh, no sustained hits, that's something. It's still not brilliant if you are you happen to be a um Votan Carl. Uh but it's not awful. Ah uh, Actually, this might be the best thing that's ever happened to this because it means it's yeah, ignored the shooting and doesn't get charged by anything, which is bad. Okay, um, strength 10, so it needs twos to wound anyway. Removing the ones. Okay, uh, all of these need to be five or more <laughs> it's going they're all going to die uh that's bad so come on i believe in you linnea if she does this it'll be the coolest goddamn thing if she doesn't do it it's still the coolest goddamn thing yeah no she's very dead uh and you know what i'm gonna pile in they are closest, so yeah, three inches that way. Oh, it's, it's such a cool model, but it's very, very scary when you actually get down to higher level. You can't even see its eyes. It's so, so good, so good. But yeah, the, the boss, it, she's dead. Okay, uh... Guess it's on to um, hook turn two, where it gets to attack in a way that is entirely unfair. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. These we get to reroll charges. I'm going to keep Linnea dead, but see if either of them can get in on nine. I doubt it. Nope. And... No. Okay, cool. Everything is fine. I just wanted to say I'd done it. And now, for this thing to move in and stop blowing everything up. Cool. Oh, also, um, gets hot on the chainsaw. Fine. It's all good. <laughs> Just keeping myself honest. Uh, if you want to keep me honest, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribers can catch my mistakes far more easily. It's a known fact. Okay, now let's uh, murder the pioneers. My God, it's so scary. I hate it. I, I, I love it. But I hate it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to overwatch with the um, yeah, Pioneers. 
Uh, uh, the road to Cannon first, needing sixes. One hit. Ah, ah. Get out the way, Wolf. No one likes you. Uh, now needing uh, fives to wound. No. The uh, auto cannons. Get two hits. Oh, um, rotary cannon gets um, a sustained attack. Uh, fell to wound. Uh, falls to wound with the um, auto cannons. One wound, three up save. Fine. And of course, the thing I genuinely hope brings this thing down in the end the shotguns. Okay. Oh, two hits. It's not going to bring it down, obviously. I mean, it's, they're rubbish. Needs five to wound. No. I think a five between them. Uh, it is now going to return fire. <laughs> um, I don't think it can see them. Um, I'm not going to check. don't really care. Um, you know what? It's not going to shoot at them at all. All of its guns are going to go into that unit. Because, honestly... I find it very funny. Um, like sometimes you just have to shoot the tiny little eggmen. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, they're toughness six. They're not nothing. Toughness six with two up save. So let's start with, let's start small. Let's start with the twin link big shooter. Yes. Fives to hit, three hits, that is fives to wound, two wounds, two up saves, they're fine. Okay, the other big shooter, shoot as, ah, pick up, come on, come on, fives to hit. My word. The war boss really, really wants these guys dead. That is another two shots from the thing. Need fives to wound near no rerolls. Uh, one two wounds, uh, two up saves. Both fine. Go on to the super scorcher. Has four hits. Five to wound. Ah. One wound, I believe they have two each. Yeah, two each. So one's on one wound. As we go into the next lot. Okay, uh, what order do I want to do these in? Um, let's go super rocket first. Get D6 plus one shot. Uh, three shots. Five's to hit. New. Before the death cannon, 3d6 plus 1. That is 11 shots. Oh, are you not entertained? Uh, five to hit. That's technically four hits. Good lord. Uh, that is twos to wound. Uh, minus three APs and on five up saves. Okay. Uh, one dies instantly. One takes D6 wounds. So it may theoretically not die. Uh, no, it dies. Okay, that is two gone. And we are down to the Super Gatler. Which has the definite, the, um, definite advantage of chucking out. That's 12, 15, 20 shots. Yes, it needs fives to hit, but who among us doesn't? Uh, <laughs> if we're being honest with ourselves. <laughs> uh, that's 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is three sixes, so that's three more hits. Threes to wound. That is minus one AP. So that is three up saves. Each one of these is a kill. Only one more dies? Okay, I mean, the entirety of this thing shooting only took out three iron here, which is a pretty poor show, all things considered. It is, however, now going to um, charge these and need to break it to. Boom. I move the. Where are my wound dice? Uh, I move the wound dice around here just so I know where they are. Okay, so a stompu in melee, you say <laughs> again? Uh, yeah, are they? They have three wounds each, and sweeps do three wounds. So I may as well go for the full eighteen attacks. Nine, twelve. 15, 18, oh, that reminds me, number 8 reminded me, uh, hazardous, one hazardous, I get a D3 wound, down to 12 wounds, I mean, it's, it's getting doable, like 12 wounds among this entire army should be pretty doable, so, there's that, that's nice, uh, uh, uh. I'll pick up the goddamn dice. Okay, it needs three to hit. I mean, theoretically, I can actually call a war as well. I just find it, I don't really feel like I need it. Uh, uh, threes to wound. Mainly because, I mean, price. Yeah, that is. Uh, <laughs> um, they have six up saves, and I need to make basically all of them. Each one, each failed save is a kill. Yeah, the entire unit of pioneers is dead. Uh, and I guess he's gonna consolidate this way. <laughs> Go after this lot. I mean. This lot can at least buy time for the shooting line over here to get set up and start, you know, pouring more firepower in, I guess. I mean, they're shooting at the back. There's also, in case you've never actually seen the back of AM Stomp, but they're very cool. Like, this comes with a whole bunch of grots you can glue on all over it. It's so, such a fun model. I mean, little dude over there, too. Uh, uh, but yeah, okay, so... Um, Let's um get to Votan turn turn three two I think it's a turn no turn three Votan turn three. Okay, it is time to unleash everything, including. I bought these conversion beamers for a reason. I could have moved them up. I just like them being in this little bit here. Uh, they're all going to fire directly into its back. So that is. Three shots, um, needing threes to hit. Now, four or more has a sustained hit D3 for another four hits. So that is six hits from three shots. Uh, strength seven, so it needs a sixes to wound. Five to wound, it needs five to wound because of the judgment token. Uh, <laughs> Minus one AP, so that is three up saves. Okay, oh, that is six, three damage each. Okay, it's down to six wounds. This is doable. It's completely solid and doable. Next up, the unit of shooty lads into the, um, yeah, that. <laughs> uh, the uh, Magnarel hits. Falls to wound, fails to wound. Rocket launcher. Misses. There are 
six dudes left with bolters and you know what that means that means 12 shots because they got two shots each come on okay threes to hit fives to wound it's all about just bringing it down now just That is one wound, plinking little bits off at a time. Got a two up save. It's fine. It cares not. Okay, uh, next up we have, you know what? I'm going to do the. I'm going to do both um, Iron Hair Champions at the same time because honestly, they have the identical weapons. They both have the um, Storm Bolter. So that is. Two's to hit. Five's to wound. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> I here want this thing dead. Two up saves. Another one down. It's down to five wounds. Uh, and finally we have got the um Iron Hair Half Guard. We've got two of them left. But that might be enough. Because they they do have the um Volkite disintegrators, which are pretty good. And they also have um the grenade launchers. So starting with the Volkanite disintegrators, they need twos to hit. Oh uh, yes. They need sixes to wound, but each wound is devastating. So, yeah, each six is basically an instant wound. Two wounds, it's down to three wounds. Ah! Uh, <laughs> grenade launcher gets 2d6 shots. For nine shots. Oh, it feels so doable right now. Um... Yeah, the Etic uh, not Eticon. The Exo Armor needs twos to hit. It needs fives to wound. Oh my god. Uh, this doesn't have devastating wounds. Okay, it needs to make at least three two up saves, which I'm assuming it's going to, but still. <laughs> Down to one wound. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, nothing is left to shoot. So everything's going to have to charge. Uh, firstly, in. Secondly, they need three. They're in. Just. That's all we need. Okay. And do the back. Absolutely within. So. Yeah. I'm going to do the... Um, uh, regular half guard first, just because I'm I'm on their page already. Uh, have, um, one has a concussion gauntlet, one has a concussion hammer. I will do the gauntlet first. Uh, needs two to hit. Needs fours to wound. Two wounds. Uh, minus uh, minus two AP. It's got four up saves. It's got to make both of these, or it goes. It goes. Now, it is. Um, uh, deadly demise of um, on a six it explodes uh, I don't care which one it is um, one of them is going to spend a command point to re-roll this I don't even care if this is a thing you're allowed to do <sighs> yes okay so uh, everything within six inches takes 2d6 mortal wounds um, basically uh, everything here has four wounds so um I can't remember whether you do this individually or not. I'm going to do it individually. The um, half guard get completely wiped. The uh, champion. Oh, they've got five wounds each. First, this one is dead. The one at the back is dead. And yeah, uh, <laughs> that is the end of the um, squad's turn they've killed it 
Um, well done, Squats. Uh, you get to survive. Hooray! Except they don't. Because <laughs> the war boss was right again. Only dies on a one. He's fine. Which means it is now time for Orcs turn three. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yes. Uh, see, this is why I haven't been calling the war, because now he's going to call a war and he's going to run for it. He's going to run eight inches straight at these guys and hopefully get the charge off to... Hell yes! The, the um... <laughs> The warriors are going to overwatch into him. The Magna Rail first. He does hit. Uh, two's to wound. Does wound. Five up invulnerable save. So fine. Uh, <laughs> the uh, rocket launcher is also going to cluster. Going to miss. And just a crap load of bolter shots. That's actually pretty good. Uh, not gonna lie, <laughs> that is, I've seen worse shooting. Uh, needs five to win. Uh, has a uh, two up save. <laughs> Fine. Uh, is he in? Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, he has got five attacks. Uh, hitting on twos, wounding on twos. Uh, yes, yeah, strength 13. So, <laughs> wounding on twos, yep. Uh, drop to six up saves. Uh, that is, oh God, uh, they, they do have six up, feel no pain, so one is dead. One is dead. Um, third one. Um, fourth one. Yeah, uh, three die from that. See, Iron Kin medics. They are just better. Uh, oh, there's a regular dude there. Uh, I can't even know which one's which. Um, yeah, they're going to pile in and try and take him on in melee combat. Which, fair play to them, I don't think it's going to help. Just somehow, I get this impression. Um, that's it. <sighs> There's five of them. They get uh, one attack each. Uh, good luck to them, basically. Now it is fours to hit. Threes to hit, sorry. He's got two um, things as well. So that is three to hit, five to wound. Because um, the uh, Votan can pick two units and there are only two units on the field. <laughs> so five to wound, uh, still two up saves. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Um, on to the Votan tent. You know what, at this point, it's not worth doing title cards. Uh, the... Votan do have um, pistols, so may as well use them. Uh, bolt pistols, four, uh, threes to hit. Uh, fives to wound. Two up safe. Conventionally they might think through, but unfortunately he is about to hit in his second turn of his war. So <laughs> his um, twos to hit. Twos to wound. Six up saves. Uh, feel no pain. One, two, and three. Meaning the only people left are the boss and the medic. Uh, but he doesn't have them. Um, feel no pain anymore, which is a thing. Because he was on to the orc turn now. So uh, the <laughs> squats can hit first. God bless them. Uh, two hits, five to wound. No. And uh, he, okay, so he doesn't get bonus attacks now. They do all hit. Oh. 
Oof, oof. Uh, three wounds, uh, six upstairs. Uh, feel no pain on the med. And yeah, the other one dies as well. Yeah, but the reason it was important that the orcs turn is he's going to consolidate over here. Now this lot are going to get three shots in into him. Um, sustained attacks as well. They need like threes to hit. They are. Uh, it's going to be two hits. It's actually not phenomenal. With um, yeah, uh, two hits. Uh, threes to wound though. Two wounds, minus one AP. Uh, they might do some damage here on. Yeah, so he's down to one wound. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, he's going to move up to here to within two inches. They are going to get a um, Overwatch. Are these guys going to survive on the Overwatch? Needing sixes to hit. No. Okay. Uh, going to shoot back, actually, you know. Why not? Why should they get all the fun? Uh, that is three hits because the Grok gets an extra point of ballistic skill. Um, no wounds though. He's going to charge and would you look at that, he's in. <laughs> I like the idea that he comes in and just comes bursting up through the floor like the green Kool-Aid man. Uh, <laughs> but no wound over there. So we all remember he's on one wound. So, uh, he charged, gets to attack first. Hitting on fours. No, not hitting on twos. Uh, wounding on twos, they're tough on six. All of them wound. Three up saves. They've got five up now. And each one that goes... Oh, and it, no, I tell a lie. I do tell a lie. He does two wounds each. They've got three wounds each. So that's only one of them that's dead. Oh, these two do get to survive. Oh, if they can take him out in melee, they will be goddamn heroes. Come on. Come on, Thunder again. Two attacks each. Like, they're not atrocious in melee. They're just not very good. <laughs> Threes to hit. Fives to wound. No. Uh, and now it's the um, Votan's turn, so the Warboss attacks first. Yeah, the um, thing is, he does need to get all four hits and wounds to get the kill. So that's a thing. Uh, they've got five up saves. Yeah, so that one's dead, and the Thunderkin is down to two wounds. Wait, the Thunderkin is currently more healthy than the uh, Warboss. It's just that the Warboss. Um, is much better in combat. So, no hits, and yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No, actually, no, no, no. It goes down to the um, Thunderkin's turn. So, no, the Orc's turn, so Thunderkin attacks first. Two hits. Oh, no wounds. And the Orc is absolutely going to just smash it into the ground. I'm so sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Two's to wound. Needs to make all three five up saves. No. And yeah. The orc survives on one wound. That is genuinely. For people saying that 40k is unbalanced at low points values, this was essentially 900 points uh, of all, almost all infantry against a single super heavy. And it came down to the war boss on one wound as the last model left alive. I just want to throw that one out there because hell yes. Also, um, just because I've kept her out, I just want to have a quick shout out, properly getting her in, fo in focus. Uh, Linnea, the high call of the Makunga Mabura Coalition, who <laughs> managed to take a round of combat from a stomper to the face and then punch it. She is a complete badass, and she... I i should use my squats more. I really, really enjoy them, and I enjoy playing Linnea. She just... She has a history of doing stuff like this. It's always so cool. Uh, yeah, um... 
Unfortunately, this time, um, <laughs> it's that Jason Momoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just that, yeah, you know that Jason Momoa, him and I, Henry Cavill. Just yeah, yeah. I, I hope you had a good time. Had you had much of a good time as I had a great time uh, playing this. That sentence was awful. Subscribe so I can get enough um, people to monetize so I could learn English. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you had a great time. I had a great time. And yeah, I will um, see y'all uh, next week for even more. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.